Yes guys, good afternoon. I hope we're doing very, very well. My name is Jack and on behalf of Keep Essex Active, I'm going to be taking you through a nice 30 minute body weight hip workout. For this workout, all you need is a bottle of water, yourself, a mat and a bit of space. It's how it gets sweaty. So, we're going to crack on with this workout. We've got two pods. Each pod has got three moves and you will do one set and four laps of each pod. And we're going to do one pod at a time. So, as an example, I'll go to pod A. Well, we're doing move one, two, and three, four times in a row at 35 seconds of work and 25 seconds of rest. Once I've done those three moves four times, I can move over to the other pod, where I'll do the same thing. All three moves, one set at a time, four laps in total at 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds of rest. If you're not quite sure you fall, what you're talking about, just stick with me, follow my lead, I'll be going through it. We're not gonna go through the moves before we start because they're quite easy to follow. We're just gonna get cracking on with the warm up and we're gonna go straight through. And in that rest period, in the main part of the workout, I will show you the next move coming up. So all you need to do is just keep your eyes on the screen, follow my lead. If you do get any problems, just pause the video, take a couple of minutes out, get back in there when you're ready for me, okay? If you haven't quite got any stuff that you need to go and get, pause the video, be my guest, we'll go and get it. However, I'm gonna start the warm up in about 10 seconds. We're gonna start off with some nice chest swings. So if you're ready, I'm ready, we're going in four, three, two, one, let's go. So all we want to do is arms high, arms straight, shoulder high, and just getting those shoulder blades pulled back, retracting that scapula, and bringing those arms all the way across the body for me. Again, we'll go for another seven, six, five, four. Start to get them feet wider. Three, two, one. Let's chop. Let's stop. Let's change toes to floor. So from the side, all we want to do is just tap the floor and push above the head for me. Get those feet nice and wide. Drive the bum back, slightly bend those knees, elbows come in, breathe in, push above the head and breathe out for me guys. Nice and simple. Four, three, two, one. Nice and simple. All we want to do here is just 10 seconds on the backward circles. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rotations for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice and simple, we're gonna change over. Cross those feet, tap those toes, come up for me, change sides. Cross those feet, tap those toes, come up, change sides, nice and simple. Cross and tap. Another seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet shoulder width, let's get those squats in there. Nice and simple, weight into the heels, head up, chest out, shoulders back, Arms out in front, avoid, hands down by your sides. Another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice and simple, get that balance in, kicking out in front. If you haven't quite got balance, hold on to the hips or hold on to a wall or the top of a chair. Four, three, two, one. Change those legs for me again on one leg. Hold that wall if you haven't quite got balance. We'll get those hands on those hips, guys, nice and simple. Three, two, one. Stop there, guys. First three moves is all cardio, whole body endurance. Eyes on me very, very quickly. First one, perfect. So nice and simple. Hands jump, fall flat to the floor, drive up, stand up straight, exhale and breathe out. If I want to make it easier, hands step and step, step and step, stand up for me. That's the first one. Just focus on that one. I'll show you the next move in our rest period, okay? 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds of rest. We go in five, we go in four, three, two, one. Let's go, so hands, jump, drop, drive, get to the top, stand up straight, exhale. Again, hands, drop, drive, stand up, exhale, stand up straight for me, good. 20 seconds left, and then we're gonna come onto our feet for some high knees and some star jumps on a six by six. I'll go through it, in our rest period, but as I said, it's nice and simple, these ones, they're quite easy to follow. Good. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Guys, stop there, get a drink if you need it, have a rest for me, please. So, six by six. Six jogs on the spot, three reps per leg, and then six star jumps for me. Any knee or back pain, just do a step 
and swing guys, okay? Nice and simple, we go in five, we go in four, three, two, one, let's go. So six, five, four, three, two, one, and then six, five, four, three, two, one. And you need your back pain, just go softer with those high knees, even just do marches, if you find that a little bit easier on the joints. And again, with those star jumps, just do a step and swing. Anything that gets your heart rate up, and gets that body moving, and you can say to yourself at the end, done the best I could, couldn't have done any more. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Guys, stop there, find some space. Uh, edge your mat, walk out to plank transfer, eyes on me very quickly. Hands, hands, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, come back. I wanna make it easier, take out the plank transfer, just walk it out, and then just walk it back for me, okay? We're going four, three, two, one. Feet, shoulder width on the edge of your mat. Four hand walks, elbow, elbow, drive, drive, walk it back. Stand up straight, exhale. Okay, struggle with the plank transfer, don't do it. Just take it out. You could, if you watch me very quickly, you could put the knees down, then do your plank transfer, and then get those knees back up, and get back up to your top for me, okay? Play around with it, see what you can do. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Guys, get a drink. One lap down. Three more to go. Back to the burpees. Now, let's go right back to the start. We're going through these three stations. Three more times. One lap down. Three more to go. Then that pod is done. We can move into the second pod. We just all abs. But for now, we've still got three more laps. Burpees to keep us off in three, two, one. Let's go. I want to set you guys the target. We're going to target six to eight reps every single set. If you can get more, get more. Please don't just get to eight, and then just like, yeah, I'm done. Keep going. I want you to set a number. I want you to push for that number. I want you to set a target and try and beat it. You can go for double figures. Set double figures. Try and go for 10 if you want. 10 seconds left. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Guys, stop there, get a drink for me. If you haven't already, high knees six, star jump six. That's it guys, nice and simple, good. Again, so it's quite a nice one today. Nice and simple cardio. It's just how hard you want to work, how hard you can push yourself. We've got four laps here. Do the best you can, just keep pushing as much as you can for me. Three, two, one, let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. One. The idea on this one is the heart rate comes up for the next 12 minutes. For this pod one, it's all about heart rate, heart rate, heart rate. Get the sweat on. Good. Because when we move to the second pod, it's a lot slower. We're focusing on the abs. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, stop there to the edge of your mat, walk outs with that plank transfer. As I said, if you struggle, take the plank transfer out or put the knees down if you need to, okay? If you're not sure, watch me very, very quickly. I wanna show you an example. We can either go one, two, three, four, or you can put those knees down, one, two, three, four, or just take it out. Let's go. If I struggle with any knee pain, put the feet wider. It means you won't be doing a squat to come back up. So if you put the feet a lot wider like I've just done, it means I don't bend my knees, I don't do a squat. I can take away that bending at the knee and I won't get as much pain as you did before. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Nice one guys, finish it off, two, one, that's it, stop there. Back to the start, two down, two to go, six minutes to go. Burpees to kick us off again. Back to that first station. 15 seconds to go. Let's get that drink, actually. Keep yourself hydrated for me. 
Good. We're going five, four again, whatever you got in the last round. Say you got six reps, try and get seven. Let's go. So whatever number you got, I want you to start thinking, I've got two more goes at it. Can I go more? Can I get more reps? Can I try and push for that 10? We should be starting to get a little bit more tired. We're on the third round. I wanna see you pushing yourself, but I wanna see you push it as much as you can do. Don't reserve energy for the last round. Don't start thinking, oh, I'll save some because I've still got two more rounds. No, just push yourself. Just push yourself. Four, three, two, one. Stop there, pop your feet. Six by six, six high knees, six star jumps for me. You're going 20 seconds. Right, we're going eight seconds. So again, six high knees, three reps per leg, and then six stars. You can do that step if you've got knee or bank or ankle pain. Let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it, guys. Keep going. Keep pushing. Good. So I said, if we get that pain, just do softer high knees or you just do high knee marches on the spot, as I said. And if it's a step up star jumps, just step and swing. If you can say to yourself, that's the best I can do with what I can get away with, we'll do it, we'll take it. Stop yourself there for me, last one. And then we go onto our last round. So we've got the walkout with those plank transfers. Again, if you have got a knee pain or your legs get a bit sore, Get those feet a lot wider outside the width of your mat, and it means you don't bend your knees on the way back up. Five, four, but if you do want to get more leg work in there, bring them closer. Let's go. And when we're doing those plank transfers, guys, try and alternate the elbows. For example, I'll go now, left, right, left, right, and come back up. And on the next rep, I'll switch it. So I'll go right, left, right, left. Good. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Guys, stop yourself there. Get that drink, three done. Last go, last three minutes, last round, before we're halfway and we go to the abs section. So, burpees first. Last three minutes, last round, last time doing these three exercises. So let's really go for it, let's really think, right, well, I want to get the heart rate up, I want to finish strong. Three, two, one, let's go. So drop, breathe in, drive, breathe out, good. It's your last time doing the burpees. I want you to really say to yourself, right, I'm going to go, I'm going to push, I'm going to go as quick as I can. I'm going to get as much as I can do, I'm going to go, go, go. Nice. 15 seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stop yourself there. Six high knees, six star jumps for me. Again, get that water into those last two minutes of getting that heart rate up. And then we slow it down, we go to the mat. Taps. But for now, we still got two more minutes to give it all we've got. Right, four, three, high knees first, two, one, let's go. So six, five, four, three, two, one, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice, good. Again, if you're struggling, just go softer with those high knees or even do those marches on the stars. Take the jump out and you just do the step and go. If it pushes you, take it, do it. Six, five, four, three seconds to go, two, and one. Stop yourselves there, last one. We will get a minute rest after this one's done to get yourself a drink and be ready for the next pod. We're not gonna go straight through. It gives me a chance to show you what the next three moves are gonna be. But for now, let's get this last one done. So walk out, plank transfer, 
back up. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. So four hand walks, drop, drop, drive, drive, hand walks by four. Get up, exhale, relax. When you're ready, go again. Nice. 15 seconds, guys. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Guys, pod one done. Get a drink, pop to your feet. Take a minute while I show you our next three stations. So, if you want to take a seat down to your mat, get yourself ready, be my guest. We're not going for another 45 seconds. If you want to refill your water bottles, be my guest. Right, first one, butt kicks, hands under the bum, legs up, one's going, one's staying. Slightly bend those knees, head and shoulders up, drive that lower back into the ground and curl those toes. Any back pain, knees in, one at a time. Number two, you're gonna sit up for me, Russian twist. So from here, all we wanna do, head up and just rock side, to side, back pain, put the feet down, hip pain, put the feet down. I can hold a towel or hold a water bottle if I just want something to hold. The third and final one, we go plank steps. So, into that plank position, and you wanna step the width of your mat. So step the left foot out to the left-hand side of the mat, and the right foot goes out to the right-hand side of the mat. And there are our last three stations. One set, four laps, same as the last pod, 12 minutes to go. We're going 10 seconds, all about the abs now, guys. So, front kicks first, hands under the bump, head and shoulders come up, drive up lower back into the ground, legs out, curl those toes. Three, two, one, let's go. So keep those knees slightly bent, curl the nose toes, those knees come right up into the belly button, head and shoulders up, drive that lower back down. I wanna make it tougher, hands come away from the bum. Good. 15 seconds, drive. Hit any neck pain, put the head back down for me. Take the stress off the traps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit up for me. If you wanna use that water bottle, for something to hold, be my guest. Right. We're going 10 seconds, so feet touch tight on the floor. If you've got hip or back pain, off the floor, crossed. If you can make it a little bit tougher, lean back a little bit more if you wanna make it even tougher. So, three, two, one, let's go. So, eyes follow the hands. Reach all the way around. Again, if you've got the pain, hips down, or hip pain, put the feet down, and you just go like that for me. And again, you can make it a little bit tough with the feet down by just leaning back. 15 seconds, good. Head up, we just get those eyes to follow those hands. Can't quite get a comfy spot. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Flip over, plank steps for me guys. So, flat back, and it's tight, tummy tight. Now if you struggle with the knees up, just put the knees down for me and just hold a plank as normal for me, please. So if you do start to struggle, all I need you to do is you can put those knees down, you can hold that one and just hold it nice and still. Even for five seconds at the end, if you just get those knees up and try and push yourself a little bit more for me. But let's go. So, step wider than the mat. Again, keeping that back flat, glutes nice and tight. Tummy nice and tight, shoulders over the elbows. 15 seconds to go. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Guys, take 25 seconds rest. One down, three to go, nine minutes left. Flip on your back for me, flat kicks. Now, as we said, and that name pain comes in, watch me very, very quickly. An alternative, if you're getting 
that knee pain, that back pain, sorry. You bring those knees in one at a time and that help your back a little bit more. Let's go. Round number two. This should be the harder pod because you're focusing on one part of the body. You're focusing on just the abs and the abs only. Good, 15 seconds everyone, let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Guys, pop your backside for me. We've got those Russian twists. So, again, if you are getting that hip pain up there, it feels like an elastic band being pulled, lean back a little bit more and bring those knees into the body and if you still struggle just put the feet down just put those feet on the floor six five four three two one let's go so like me my hips are getting a little bit sore a little bit tight so i'm going to bring the knees into my belly i'm going to lean back a little bit more and it takes the weight off the thighs and it transfers to my core good that bottle actually it's not there for extra weight or anything it's just there for something to hold a little bit easier eight seven six five four three two one guys flip over plank position for me so again stepping as wide as that mat for me back flat glutes tight tummy tight shoulders over the elbows eyes down looking between your fingers you have got the back pain you're struggling just put the knees on the floor even when you're ready even for three or five seconds get those knees up for me the best you can three two one let's go nice keep it going keep going 10 seconds gone even if you're doing the full plank you're struggling with the step outs just hold it just hold that plank 15 seconds to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stop there for me. Flip over, two down, two to go. Six minutes gone, six minutes to go. We stretch, we're done. Good. Let's get back onto that back again. Remember, you've got that option. Back pain, even if your hips are starting to get a little bit tight now, a bit sore, bring the knees in, take the stress off the thighs, off the hips, and bring it into the core. Let's go. And again, if I want to make it tougher, hands come away, hands come onto the shoulders, and keep that head up. But if you have got neck pain, just put the head back down for me. Curl the toes, push the heels through, and bring those knees up and into the belly, like I'm doing now. Up and into the belly button. 11 seconds, good, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop there, get onto your backside for me. Russian twist, five minutes to go. Again, I say it every time, if that hip pain comes in, it could do, it's prone to, or backache, lean back, bring those knees into the belly, that'll help your thighs. If you've got the back pain, just put the feet on the floor. Six seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So eyes following those hands. Get all the way round. Good, 10 seconds gone. So like me, my hips are starting to get a little bit sore, a little bit tight. So I'm going to put my feet down. I'll go for five seconds. And then four, three, two, one. I'm going to try it again. I've got my last 10 seconds. I've given myself a little bit of a respite. And that allows me now to do the last 10 seconds without any problems, any struggles. Two, one. Stop yourself there. Flip over for me for that plank. Even if you make it easier for three, four, five seconds. It saves you, gives that little bit of respite for the final bit at the end, just to go, right, I'm in, I'm gone, I'm golden, I'm gonna go. 10 seconds, plank steps, 
Last three minutes after this finish has flown by. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So elbow, shoulders in line, back straight, back flat, glutes tight, it's your bum muscles, keep them tight. Step, breathe in, come back, breathe out. Step, breathe in, come back, breathe out. If I'm struggling, just hold your plank. If you're still struggling, especially with back pain, just put the knees down. 20 seconds left. Good. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Guys, last round. Great news, last round. Best bit of news all day. Last three minutes. Let's flip over. Let's get ready for those flutter kicks. Good. 10 seconds, let's get ourselves set. So on your back, hands on your back. Head and shoulders come up, lower back. Driven into the floor, it's gonna get our core engaged. Legs up, bend those knees, let's go. Tuck, curl those toes. Look at my knees, they come up, they come into the belly button. And again, even for those last 10 seconds, if you wanna bring your hands away, give it a try. See how you find it. It will make it a little bit tougher on your abs. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up you get, last two minutes. Take a seat. Four those Russian twists. Then finish with the plank, stretch, done. Good. Good, four, three, two, one, let's go. Good, get all the way around, you wanna come all the way around so you're looking behind yourself, you're looking behind that mat. The more you twist, the more you're gonna rotate, the more you're gonna get those obliques, which those muscles there, you're gonna get them engaged a little bit more. And if I lean back a little bit more, I'm gonna work a little bit more core cool as well. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Guys, last round, last minute, or not even that, last 35 seconds. Plank, steps, then finished. Good, we're going 15 seconds, as I said. Knees down for the plank makes it the easiest. Knees up, if you can hold that, makes it harder getting those steps in, a little bit more leg work, just a little bit more to do. Three, two, one. Guys, last 35 seconds, everything you got, let's go. Again, squeeze those glutes, squeeze those bum muscles, squeeze that tummy nice and tight. Belly button to spine, breathe in, hold it tight, back flat, shoulders over the elbows. 20 seconds left. Good. 10, nine, eight, seven, hold it, hold it, hold it. Four, three, two, one. Fantastic, guys, get a drink. Take a couple of seconds, we're gonna stretch a bit, stand your bum, stand the mat. A couple of minutes more. Just to see you stretch and we're done. Right. Go straight in if you're not quite ready pause video jump back in when you're ready for me we're going to start off by stretching his hip flexors out so what i need to see we want to put one foot out in front knee ankle in line knee hip in line that back leg i want to put a slight angle so we're there and all the target is going to be we're going to stretch that back thigh the knee that's on the floor we're going to stretch that hip flexor to do that both hands sit on that front thigh and just lean forward. If you notice that front knee, it doesn't go in front of my toes, it stays behind the toes. The emphasis is here on the bottom leg, the back leg, I'm trying to push into the hip flexor there. And I'll flip round to the other side so you'll get a better view. Three, two, one. So again, then we've got to flip round. Just keep your eyes on me if you're not quite sure. So step out. 
front leg on, target is this far here. We want to push that in, push that forward. We're keeping that knee behind those toes. If I want to feel the stretch a little bit more, that back leg, that knee goes back a little bit more like that. And you should feel a little bit more of a stretch. Good. Three, two, one. Full flat onto your front for me. Pick one leg, bring the heel up, hold, pull, squeeze. Try and get those knees together. If you can do both legs at the same time, do both legs at the same time, but I haven't got the flexibility, so I would not be doing that. And three, two, one, switch legs. And five, four, three, two, one. Come up onto those knees, bum. Drops back onto the heels. Hands, edge out in front as far as you can. We've got a nice stretch for the lats by the armpit. Chin tucks into the chest. And five, four, three, two, one. Drop forward, hips come down to the ground, the arms extended, chest out, shoulders back, head up. Back pain, what if a minimal discomfort on the lower back? If it's painful to the point where you're struggling to hold it, drop to the elbows and you go that way for me. But if you can, get those arms extended. And number five, four, three, two, one guys, we need one more knees, bum, stand up, whatever you want to do. Just bring that arm out in front on the wrist or the tricep, never the elbow. Just hold it out in front. Four, three, two, one. Change those arms, come right over. Last one, last 10 seconds to go. And then that is you done. As I said, guys, if you want to see more videos, you want to do more workouts, you stick to the YouTube page, Keep Basics Active. There's all sorts of workouts on there and you can get it done throughout the week. And that, guys, is us done. Have a great week, have a great weekend. I will see you next time. Be safe, stay safe. Fix soon.